It happens everywhere and more and more to television reporters, even ours. This is a story coming out of Timmins today. It's shocking that people still think this is okay. Sexual harassment and verbal abuse of women in various forms, in the workplace, in the bar, and even in the street. It's inexcusable, and if allowed, it can lead to something worse. That was the message today from women's crisis groups in Timmins. Now, CTV's Jessica Goslin is standing by tonight in Timmins with quite a story that actually took a personal turn. Jessica. Brendan's sexual assault and sexual harassment are closely linked. Experts say one can actually lead to another. Sexual harassment can happen at any time and anywhere. In fact, I got to experience it firsthand in this exact same spot earlier today. Take a look. Those statistics of one in three so there's a really good reason of why we're doing Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Actually, part of our tweet chats is petitioning for that type of harassment to be made a hate crime that is only targeting female reporters. Acts of harassment like the one you just saw are part of a recent disturbing trend. You would humiliate me on live television. One that got some national attention this week after a Toronto reporter confronted a man who was hurling sexual insults during her live report. The man was spotted on TV by his employer, Hydro One, and was fired. And officials with the Women in Crisis Center say sexual harassment can easily lead to sexual assault, which is why this group of women are writing notes of encouragement in chalk to victims of this crime. I don't think that men fully understand the level of fear that women experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, men don't hold their keys between their fingers when they walk to their car. Uh, men do not cross the street to avoid women. McAllister says one in three women will be a survivor of either physical or sexual violence in their lifetime. This is one of those survivors. You definitely lose your power as a human being. Um, it takes away your, your sense of self-worth. Uh, it holds you back in succeeding in whatever you want in your own life. And it ends up being a long healing process. Things that cause rape is not a short skirt. It's not alcohol. It's not anything but a rapist. A rapist is what causes rape. Mason says there is still a stigma surrounding sexual assault and hopes through these messages of support, awareness can be raised. We're also um, focusing a lot of messages on consent. That's probably our biggest um, goal this year. CTV's Jessica Goslin reporting on a sexual assault and harassment awareness program in Timmins today.